great. So if you're not there yet, make your way onto your back to that supported butterfly, the little bit of a fish type sensation. Let go and arrive on your back. Here we are. Nothing to do, nothing to prove, simply arriving into your body as it is right now. And as we move through tonight's practice, I want to think about taking up residence inside of our body, making this a study of the internal world. So as you arrive, awaken your senses and start to turn them in upon yourself, closing your eyelids gently. Almost 60% of all of the sensory nerve endings in our body are associated with vision. So let the eyes rest gently close, turning off that external stimuli, bringing the focus inside. And then sense the surface of your skin from toes all the way to your head, feeling every point on the outside surface of your body, sensing the air, sensing your clothing, sensing support. Our skin is our largest organ covering the most surface area. So sense that entire outside surface of the body. And then notice if you can turn your awareness to the inside surface of the skin. Are you able to sense inside the body? So instead of sensing the outside of the container, sense that inside wall of the container of ourselves. Sending the breath to any crevices, any places that seem dim or dark or unreachable. Use your breath to invoke awareness of those areas that may feel a little difficult to feel. Awakening awareness of the entire inside of the body, not attempting to change anything, simply welcoming the sensation, using it to discover where do we need to bring our awareness? and then awaken the sensory organ of smell by bringing awareness to the tip of your nose, feeling the air enter the body. Carrying with it any scent that is in the room.
following the movement of the breath through the body, in through the nose, down the back of the throat, filling the lungs. Can you bring your awareness to the inside of the lungs? Taking up residence in the lungs. Feeling with each inhalation and expansion 360 degrees around the thoracic cavity. Let the breath create a massaging, a pulsation. A scrubbing of the lungs inside and out. Notice if there's any areas that you feel easily. And then notice if there are any areas that are difficult to feel. Try to take up as much residence, as much space as you can inside the lungs. And then swallow, feeling the movement of the esophagus, feeling the downward movement into the belly, sensing digestion, processing and integrating, and then ultimately the process of letting go. Let's actually facilitate this process, beginning at the top of the digestive system. Take your left thumb and come right onto your skin. Bring that left thumb from the bottom of the sternum or the chest bone and out along the bottom edge of the ribs on the left side. And then bring that left thumb back to the bottom of the sternum. And now from the bottom of your chest bone, strip with your left thumb out towards that left front bony hip point. And then take that left thumb back to the bottom of the sternum and strip right down on the left side of the navel. So straight line down just to the left of the navel. And let's do that about three more times in each direction. So from the bottom of the chest bone or bottom of the sternum out along the bottom edge of the rib. Bottom of the chest bone out towards that front bony hip point. And you might not get all the way there. Bottom of the chest bone, third angle, straight down just to the left side of the navel. Do two more times in each of those three directions, stimulating vagal activation or parasympathetic activation of the stomach, facilitating our digestive process. Starting to move awareness a bit deeper, sensing the organ of the stomach underneath the fingers. Feel yourself massaging into the stomach. Can you actually feel the edges of that J-shaped organ, that muscular organ? Creating that downward movement. Make this the last round. 
And notice if you start to hear now internal sensations, letting sounds, feelings communicate with that sense of hearing, stimulating an internal listening, awakening all five senses of the body. And then now take your hands to the outside of your knees. Use the hands to draw the knees together, staying in this posture for just another moment, but changing it up, continuing to work with that digestive sense. Bring your feet as wide, maybe even a little wider than the mat. The arms can stay resting down and then start to rotate the knees towards one direction like a windshield wiper and then the other direction, creating a little ringing action. Not forcing, but feeling the pelvis go in one direction as the shoulders relatively go in the opposite direction as they stay resting on the surface. creating a ringing in this middle digestive region. Using the breath to facilitate the letting go Maybe you even feel yourself sinking down the bolster a little bit. I do. And that's okay. Just let the body go. Let it sink. Letting go of any tension. Unwinding. Integrating back into the inside of ourselves. Turning our sensory awareness inward. Taking residence up inside of our skin, in the entire inside shell of the body. And then as you're ready, release the bolster. And then come onto your back in that same hook lying position. We're gonna integrate a shoulder opening into that rocking. So take the right hand, take the right hand up the back, reaching it towards a half bind position. Try to reach it up into your shoulder blades, but right on the back door of the heart, and then come back onto your back. You might notice that that right shoulder really lifts up. So gently allow gravity to allow the shoulder to soften back to the floor. The left arm can reach up overhead or even cradle the back of the neck. Try to keep both elbows pressed into the floor here. I'm just gently holding the back of the neck, kind of cradling it. And then now you might notice that you're tipping to the left if you bring your awareness towards that tailbone or the pelvis. And then now come back to that lower body rocking. So start to rock the knees towards the right where you bump up against a wall. You might feel that wall in the shoulders as the shoulders reach their maximum stretch. Exhaling as you twist, rocking into that edge just like you're rocking on a rocking chair bumping up against the edge of mobility and then coming back and kind of like you're pumping a swing that swing gets a little bigger that edge moves a little further without forcing simply let the momentum build bringing you into this really deep right internal rotation stretch for the shoulder.
And then on the next round, keep the legs over to the right. And then now maybe take the right foot over the left knee, dropping the left knee towards the floor. Try to keep both elbows on the floor. Try to let both shoulders drop back. And then try to elongate from the left elbow to the left knee, getting a little stretch through the descending colon on the left side. So that area of elimination. Maybe here, take a few exhales out the mouth, letting go. Feeling into the inside of the body, bringing all of your awareness inside the skin. taking up residence inside of yourself. What are you hearing as you drop into the stillness? Listen to the sensations, feelings arising, pointing you to deeper awareness, deeper understanding of the world within, beneath the surface. Returning to center. And then let the legs rock back towards center. Let the right knee kind of fall over the left, like you're coming towards an eagle leg position, but we won't. And then gently let your arms go. And now, instead of crossing the feet towards one another, doing the double bind, let the feet come apart from one another and reach towards the outside edges of your feet. So the knees are stacked. And now you're reaching for the outside edges of your feet, coming into that shoelace type posture on your back. And notice what happens if the head has to round. Maybe if your head can't reach the floor, give yourself a little bit of a prop or a little support behind you. And see if you can let the feet drop towards the shoulders so that you just lift them up a little bit so their toes are about shoulder height and then try to let them move downward towards the floor with gravity. Feel the compression now of the right thigh and the right ascending colon. Can you breathe into the right side of the abdomen where there's the compression between the right thigh and the right abdomen. As you compress the front of the pelvis, can you feel the broadening of the back of the pelvis, of the front edge of the sacrum drop into the back wall of the sacrum, dropping into the floor, broadening the back and outside of the hip joints here. Exhaling and letting go, creating space in that internal atmosphere.
the outer hips, this liver, gallbladder, meridian that we're working with this posture is associated with detoxification. As is twisting. So now we'll come into a more traditional spinal twist. So now you can let the feet towards come towards one another, come towards that double bind if you have it, letting the left the right foot come under the left, and then now let your knees drop over to the left. I want you to focus on keeping that right shoulder grounded. So this is where your bolster, your blanket, a block or some prop might be helpful to let the legs rest upon. Think about pulling the knees up towards the left shoulder. So coming into some flexion and rotation. So even though we're opening and broadening through the upper bodies, think of still a turning inward, a moving inward in the lower body. Maybe first sense the openness in the upper body. Then feel the constriction, that double bind, that flexion, that ringing in the lower body. If it's helpful, maybe move from that sense of openness in the upper body to the wrapping in the lower body. Holding one. And then holding the other. And then just allowing both to be present. How can you let go 10% more? Notice if any external stimulation is pulling you outside of yourself. Can you bring your awareness back to the internal environment? Following your breath inward. Using the breath to guide the awareness into the body. Taking up residence inside yourself. Maybe even doing a little cleaning house, a little housekeeping. Take three more breaths here, waiting for that sigh of relief and of release. And then coming back towards center, unwrapping the legs and just momentarily lengthening the legs out along the mat. I want to just do a little pause in between before moving to the other side. So first, take up as much space as you can on your mat. Reaching like a star, like a five-pointed star out through each of the limbs. How much space can you take up? 
make yourself as large as possible, as spacious as possible. Maybe feeling the asymmetry between one side and the other as a result of the practice. And then let's try to take even a little bit more space up along the sides of the body. So let's take both hands now behind the neck. That little bind we did before, but instead of with one side, do both. And now just to awaken that side body length a little bit, stretch through the right heel and the right elbow, creating a little bit more length in the right side waist, and then come back to center. Let's do that same side maybe four more times. Inhaling as you reach, exhaling to center. Inhaling as you reach. Exhaling back to center. Three more at your own pace. Not lifting, but just gliding. Feeling the myofascial tissues that environment of the body, that fluid matrix, glide and slide on itself. Feeling everything in that internal atmosphere, that internal environment. Pausing in center, let's do five to the other side. So now reaching through the left heel, reaching through the left elbow, there's a little side bend through the thorax. And then one more round this way. And then pause in midline. Now integrating our two sides, taking as much space as possible. Reach through the right heel and the right elbow on the inhale and then return back to center on the exhale. Then reach through the left heel and the left elbow and then return back to center, alternating sides. Can you sense if the tissues glide easily if the movement is fluid or if you find yourself getting stuck anywhere and continue for one more round on each side and when you feel balanced and complete release the arms and legs and again find that five-pointed star on your back, taking up as much space as possible. Feeling yourself spacious, open, and supported. Letting go of any efforting. No need to do anything. And beginning again without any expectation, projection, or comparison. Just simply arriving in the sensation and welcoming 
whatever the body has to tell us with its sensations and feelings. Let the left arm now come behind your back. So bending your knees to feet on the floor, reach the left arm up the back as high as you can, bringing the left elbow down towards the floor, taking the hands towards the back wall of the heart. And then the right hand can cradle the back of the neck. First, just settle into the sensation without forcing. Kindly come to your first edge without pushing. And then just bump up against that edge by beginning to rock the legs side to side so that you feel a sense of ease and fluidity as you come towards your ends of mobility. Finding freedom here, finding curiosity here, and then building a bit of comfort and ease and a little momentum as you let the legs drop over to the left. Continuing your rocking action. And when you feel ready, let both knees stay over to the left. <sighs> the left ankle can come over the right knee and then press away with the right knee, reaching the right knee and right elbow as far as you can from one another. Pausing here, let gravity and time be the drivers for release. Notice if there's any areas of tension. How can you soften and let go Just 10% more. Feeling that stretching now through the ascending colon on the right side, as well as the right psoas, letting go of fear. No need to hold on. Melt into the support of the floor behind you completely. Let your body be at ease, even in this end range of mobility. Breathing into all the points of sensation, feeling how the postures awaken, increased internal communication with yourself by stretching, by twisting, by turning, by coming into the edge, we awaken internal communication. The body gives us more feedback, more sensation, pointing us to deeper understanding allowing us to be curious and explore. Taking three more letting go breaths here, exhaling through the mouth. Excuse me. Then unrotating, letting the left leg slide over the right. Legs rotate to the right momentarily to allow the left arm to come out. And then pull your knees up towards your chest, taking your hands to the outside edges of your feet. Feel the feet move apart from one another. Use the hands to gently allow the feet to move up towards the shoulders 
and then down in towards the floor. You'll feel the left thigh compressing the descending colon. Send the breath into the back wall of the sacrum, feeling the back of the hips, the outside edges of the hips, the outer thighs, all lengthen and stretch, awakening the lateral line of the body, this internal wringing out, this detoxifying. The lateral line responds really well to vibration. So if there is a sigh or a noise, a <sighs> that may be really helpful here. Even an om or a mantra or buzzing, unsticking anything that may still be stuck in that internal cavity of the body. Use your breath to awaken awareness on the inside. To illuminate what's dark or often underneath our awareness. Sensing into the vital functions of respiration, circulation, elimination that maintain this beautiful homeostasis and dynamic balance. <sighs> Take three more breaths here. and then release the feet. Let your legs come into that double wrap if it's available. Otherwise, press the shins towards one another. Keep the knees pulling in so the lower body stays in this position of compression, and then rock the legs into a trunk rotation towards the right, taking a prop to meet them if that feels right, a bolster, a blanket. And then in order to keep the left shoulder on the earth, so rising the floor, rising the support up to meet you, to allow you to completely let go and surrender into this beautiful twist, sensing the compression in the lower body and the expansion in the upper body. Feeling into one and then feeling into the other. Letting the breath remind you of that compression and expansion, the movement between the two, using it as a pumping to purify, to clear out, to awaken internal awareness. With each exhalation, coming deeper into yourself.
How can you let go just 10% more? Feeling the support behind you and leaning into it. Letting the whole body feel spacious, supported, and at ease. Take three more letting go breaths. And then let the legs come back towards center unwrapping the knees and letting your body find a momentary shavasana. Maybe the arms come back towards that five-pointed star again, taking up as much space as possible. Feeling the inhale fill the entire inside cavity of the body, breathing into all the crevices between the fingers and the toes between the turns of the intestines, into the corners of the lungs. Let the entire inside of the body be spacious and open. And then bend both knees, rolling to your side. Our last posture for this yin practice will be in sitting. So I'm going to sit onto a blanket and I'm gonna have my strap nearby. I'm gonna come into that more traditional version of cow face or shoelace, we call it in yin. And I'm going to cross my left foot back. Sorry, bring my right foot under first. I think that's the side we did first on our backs. And then the left foot over. So my knees are stacked. And so that I can feel both sit bones press firmly into the floor. So that one sit bone isn't rocking up create a nice level foundation for yourself and then you can try to walk the feet out towards a straight line as we did on our back where we pulled them up towards our shoulders a bit and then now take the left hand overhead if you'd like using your strap pulling that elbow up towards the ear and then walking the right hand up towards the back to meet the left or to meet the strap pressing the elbows open feel the heart move forward let the head be at rest and at ease maybe even keeping the gaze eyes closed to keep an internal gaze and then staying here or if it feels right folding forward compressing again through that digestive portion of the body there's just a little twist And then bring your awareness to the back wall of the rib cage, breathing into the backs of the lungs, the backs of the heart, the sides of the ribs, feeling the breath massage the entire thoracic cavity, coming back to that first sense of internal awareness. Can you use all of your senses here to move deeply 
interiorly. Exploring this internal castle of ourselves. This sacred structure. Feeling the sensation on the outside of the skin. Feeling the sensation on the inside of the skin. Gazing inwardly towards your center. Illuminating internal awareness. Bringing light to the areas of darkness or dullness. Letting go and digesting anything that may be arising, using this as integration, using this as release, listening in this stillness to those things that our body is trying to tell us that may often go unheard. In order to respond intelligently, to respond compassionately, How can you completely take up residence in this shape for five more breaths? And slowly rising, moving gently, letting the posture unwind, using your hands to uncross your legs, either giving yourself a little hug in midline or allowing the legs to rock as we had on our back, moving through midline. And then once all of the sensation subsides, once breathing returns to normal, once that flushing, tingling, pulsing, aching, terminates and subsides like water returning to stillness go ahead and begin on the other side crossing the left leg now left knee on top of the right maybe walking the feet out from one another, stacking the knees, balancing the hips. Wait, did I do the wrong side? I think right over the left now. That's when you know you really, uh, we're in it. Now I don't know what side. I think left over right. <laughs> right arm up, left arm back. Or whichever side you didn't do. A 
Let the hands come to strap. Even if they can bind, maybe a little additional support feels nice. Staying here or folding forward. Allowing for the internal gaze. Welcoming stillness. Inviting spaciousness inside. Expand from the inside out. Feeling spaciousness from the core. Illuminating the entire inside of the body. Turn on the lights. Inside, creating a radiating from center. An internal illumination from that midline out. Bringing awareness, light, clarity to every crevice of your body. Using your breath as a tool to direct that light. to direct that awareness to wake up to see more clearly How can you let go? Of your outward orientation. Turning inward. Awakening internal awareness for five more breaths.
as if letting go of the outside shape. Letting that melt away. And resting in the feeling state. that lies within. Take two more breaths here. Stay as long as you need until you get that sigh and letting go of release. And then slowly and gently release the hands. Use your hands to help unfold the legs and make your way completely onto your back. Arriving now into your final Shavasana, completely letting go. Taking the next moment or two to make yourself feel completely supported by the surface you're resting on. Using props for your knees or a blanket to cover you. Drop into the embrace of the earth, feeling completely supported, at rest and at ease, allowing yourself to let go of any last bit of external tension, external efforting, or external orientation, feeling held, allow yourself to open all of your senses to explore the internal environment. Taking up residence inside of yourself. Rest in the spaciousness, freedom and ease that is your essential nature. Staying here as long as you'd like and we'll prepare for our yoga nidra to begin in just a minute. Thank you for this practice of yin yoga. Namaste.